Hi YouTube, this is Easy Peasy. I'm coming to you with the second um, piece by piece video uh, about my makeup collection. And I'm filming in the kitchen today. Hopefully the lighting is better. Um, it's so dark in the living room, so I'll probably be filming in here. It's not a very creative or homey background because it's just the blank wall behind me, but if you can see better, that's all that counts. Anyway, this will be my face products. All right, let's start with liquid foundations. The first two I have are by the L'Oreal True Match line. I have a lighter shade and a darker shade, one for summer, one for winter. This color is the lighter of the two, and it's called Porcelain. And this color is Classic Ivory. These foundations are pretty good. They have pretty good coverage. Um, sometimes I feel like they wear off around my mouth area. Probably I probably lean on my hand and stuff. But they have pretty good coverage and they have a great selection of shades. So sometimes, you know, I could blend these two shades to get just the right one if it's in between seasons. Next is my favorite um, liquid foundation of the moment. And I'm actually out. There's only like a tiny drop in here. And it is the Maybelline Super Stay Makeup 24 Hour um, No Transfer 24 Hour Wear. And the color is ah, Porcelain Ivory. It looks like this. And this is probably going to be mirrored because I changed it to be a reflection. Um, so this is probably going to be backwards. But at least I can tell what I'm doing. <laughs> I love this foundation. It has great longevity and good coverage. Okay, and the makeup that I, I've been using for the past few weeks is um, also by Maybelline, I think. Yeah. And it is the Maybelline Fit Foundation. Let me turn the... The cap looks like that when you buy it in the store, but for some reason mine always goes on backwards. But anyway, I'm kind of disappointed in this foundation. I don't feel like it has very good longevity. I feel the coverage is alright. Um, the shade selection is good. But the, the durability is not that great. It wears off pretty quick and it kind of breaks down on my face. But anyway, it does have SPF 18 and my shade is 120. I don't know if any of these other ones have SPF or not. I don't think this one does. So I use an SPF moisturizer under that. But these True Match ones do. These do have SPF. Okay, let's move on to cream foundations. I have two at the moment. Um, the first one is a Maybelline product again. I really like Maybelline foundations actually. And it is the Dream Matte Mousse. Oh, I can't get the stupid lid back on. The Dream Matte Mousse. My color is Porcelain Ivory. And it's like a fluffy mousse consistency. You've probably seen this on YouTube before. I like this in the summer because it's very light and it really gives you a matte finish which is hard to accomplish in the summer so I use this for this is like my third jar of this I recently hit like pan on another one and was like scooping it out so I just got another one and I have an, another mousse foundation it's the Maybelline dream smooth mousse and the little applicator is in this flip top and this is what the product looks like it is like um, it's not fluffy like the other one, but it's not real heavy either. It has a very smooth finish to it, and I'm wearing this today. Um, this is, I haven't used this this much, that much. So this is only like the third or fourth time trying it, and it's really rainy here today. So I'm kind of curious to see how it holds up with the humidity. Okay, let's go on to face... Oh, let's do the tinted moisturizer. I only have one, and it is the CoverGirl Aqua Smoothers. My color is Fair to Light. I don't like this. It has no coverage at all. I don't like that. I, I never use it. <laughs> okay, on to face primers. I have the Revlon Beyond Natural and the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel, which you find in the like yeast infection cure area. Um, this actually is a pretty good primer. It's better than this. This one, um, it smooths. It gives you a nice smoothness. But it just doesn't, I have to use so much of it compared to this. So this is like my third tube, I guess, of this stuff. And I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, I don't want to use a product like that on my face. So let me show you what it's really like. Okay, all it is is a very clear gel. It has no odor. And when you rub it in, it has no sheen, 
no nothing no greasiness it dries to a powder finish just like um, a wet to dry foundation would and it really fills in your pores fine lines wrinkles it smooths out my complexion nicely okay let's go on to eye primers I count these as face products because I apply them before any other makeup like um, like eye makeup so I have a tiny little one of the Urban Decay Primer Potion that I got with my Naked Palette. I have the Palladio Herbal Eyeshadow Primer, which I used this exclusively for a long time. I have it sealed up, and it comes with a sponge tip or a doe foot applicator. It's okay. It's not as good as what I'm using, which is actually upstairs on my vanity, which is the Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance. I really like it. Okay, let's move on to concealers. The only high-end concealer I have is by Benefit, and it's the Boing. I'm not going to open it. It's the Boing concealer. I've hit pan on it. I've only had this for about four months, um, and you get a ton of product. I probably haven't even had it four months, like two months. <laughs> You're my cat. Hi. <laughs> anyway, um, this gives really good coverage for the redness that I tend to have. Well, hi, baby. Are you going to say hi? You want to come up here? Oh, no, he doesn't want to. Then I have the Superstay Concealer. My color is Ivory. This is good stuff, too. This is actually empty. I have the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. My color is Fair to Light. It's okay. Now some concealers. I Oh, here's another one that I do use. The Dream Mousse Concealer. It's this, a little thicker consistency, but I haven't used this in so long, I'm almost embarrassed. I'm going to toss this after this video. Look how dried up it is. So I haven't used this like in a year. I actually forgot I had it. Um, my trash can's right here. No reason to keep a product that's in that shape. And I have the Rimmel Recover Anti-Fatigue Concealer. I don't like this. It's like it smears or something. Then I have a bunch of these tube kind this one i think these are by neutrogena i think no this one's by maybelline they're from a variety of brands so this one's for redness this is for under eye it's like a yellowy color this is the one from Neutri neutrogena and it's just a tube um concealer for those heavy duty days i have an itty bitty mini of NYC concealer, which is crap. Don't buy this. <laughs> and now, uh, oh, I forgot a, a cake or a stick foundation. This is the Max Factor Pan Stick. They don't sell this anymore in the US, I don't think. But I use this for if I'm having a really bad breakout or if I have a lot of rosacea going on, this is really good coverage. Okay, powders, loose powders. I have, this is dusty. The NYC Smooth Skin Loose Powder. It's okay, gives pretty good coverage. It, it does matte your skin pretty well. But I don't like it as well as my oldie Air Spun, Cody Air Spun Loose Face Powder. This is so, this brand is, has been around forever. Oh, I don't wanna get it in my computer. So it comes with, it used to come with like a thin cellophane topper and you would poke holes in it with a safety pin and then you could get your product. But they've updated that to a hard, plastic one. Love this stuff. Wearing it today. Love, love, love. Been through like a bazillion of these. I've used it since I was a teenager. I love it. I've never found another um, loose powder that provided as good of coverage and as smooth of um, a finish. And then my favorite pressed powder is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. I've hit pan on this one. I have a backup of this. I keep this one in my purse. Um, it's just great for touch-ups for if it's a hot day, that kind of thing. So I actually pared down my face collection a lot. Like I, I didn't see a need for five different kinds of foundations if I wasn't going to be a makeup artist. So, um, which I'm not, I have no interest in that. So I keep things around that suit my needs throughout the year or on different kinds of skin days. Um, and I keep favorite old standbys with me and that's about it. I paired, I probably got rid of six foundations that I just wasn't using and didn't like them. So, um, yeah, I have pared my makeup collection down a lot except for eyes and lips. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and this is easy peasy and thank you for watching. Bye.